So I'm often asked, how do I set up my trading robots and how do I choose a token and do I change any settings? I'm going to show you what I do. Now, this is not financial advice and I'm not recommending that you do this. You should do your own due diligence and I only want to show you what I do to set up some of my robots. So when I'm logged into my Johnny blockchain account, I want to come to the dashboard and then once I'm on the dashboard, I'm going to come over to trends. Now, you've got the Binance API and you've got the pancake swap ones, okay? So it's showing you that GGG is the top token for pancake swap and OM is the top token for Binance in the last 24 hours. So I'm going to look at both of these coins and show you what I would do. So let's have a look at the uh, OM chart on Binance. So I go over to my Binance account and then what I want to do is on the left hand side here, I can go to assets or I can come up to the top here, that wallet sign and go to assets. So I'm going to go on the assets there. And then in this search box, I'm just going to put in OM. And there it is there. And then all I need to do is to click on trade. So this brings me up the chart. I don't have to know anything about charts because I use a very simple technique. So if you look here, you've got two views. You've got original and trading view. And I'm going to use both of these. But before I do that, I'm going to go on this icon here, these two arrows, and make it nice and big. So I can see here that I've got my, my buy and my sell. So I've sold a previous lot and it's bought another lot down the bottom there and the price is starting to go up. So it's now waiting to take, uh, you know, a bit of profit. So on the original view, I come up to this icon here and I've got this order history. And if I toggle that off, you'll see that those buy and sells in that bottom left hand corner disappear. OK, so that's something that's just a little tip there so that you can show your trades actually on the chart. What it also shows me on this chart is the lowest price and the highest price in this time frame. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Trading View. So as you can see, there, it's got some arrows over this side for my buyers and my sells. And then what I'm looking for is what the chart price is doing. So if I just go up here a little bit like this, I can see there. this is a big movement here because I can just see in that corner there, you can see price was down here and it moved up. And if you look on the left-hand side here, you've got this little toolkit. Now, what we want to do is go on to this icon, and you click that, and it drops out this menu. Now, what I want to do is do price range, and I'm going to just do that and take that up to there, click, and then I'm just going to bring this down. I can see that that movement there is 128%, so I've got to be careful with this token because it can move 128%. So I can see around the 8th of February, this coin has gone up uh, by 128%. Now, if I get this here, click on this, I'll just delete that off. And I'm going to get that tool again. And I'm going to come to the price range. And I, this time, I'm going to pick this, this drop, this pick up here. So that's 28%. So I can see that around the 10th of February to the 11th of February, that price change was around... 28% um, so I know that this coin is very very volatile so when setting up this one I want to take that into account so let's go to my Johnny blockchain account here and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the plus sign on here for this OM now I've already got one of these so I'm not going to set it up but I'm just going to show you what I would go through so it's on Binance it's opened up this window here it's just showing me the simple check settings but what I want to do is go on to the expert settings and then what that does is down the bottom here, it opens up some more stuff down here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all this off and leave two lots. I'm going to leave lot zero and lot one. So I delete them off by going on this dustbin or this trash can, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, UK, we call it a dustbin. So I'm just going to delete all those off. So I keep pressing that down until I've got two lots left. I've got lot zero, which is the first lot that it will buy, and then it's got lot two. Now, I know by looking at the chart, if we remember, there was, you know, if I come up to there, where is it? So it's about 28% movement there. And I also know there was 128% on a big movement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my second lot, this one here, this lot one, I'm going to drop that percentage right down. And I'm going to drop that down to 25%. So basically what this bot's going to do is it will buy this lot zero, and then if the price plummets, it's got to plummet by another 25% before it buys the second lot. Now, I do this for 
coins that are very volatile and that I don't really want to hold. Now, if this was Bitcoin, a completely different story. I don't mind buying lots of Bitcoin up. But when I'm trading a coin like OM, I want to be very careful that it's not going to use up all my funds that I've got available for other bots. So then I'd come up to the top here and I'd say how much I want to trade with. Now, I normally set that up with the, when I'm testing it for $20. Now, if that works out okay and I'm happy with the performance, I can create another bot and set it with the same settings by coming up to, uh, there'll be a button up here to duplicate. And then all I would do is increase that amount. I might want to increase that to 100. So I'm only risking, you know, like $200 on a particular volatile bot. Or in this case, if I wanted to do that, I could do 20. Okay. So I would also, what I would do is I'd come down to the bottom here on this lot one. And you see it says average. I'm going to change that to independent. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this keep profits from 90 and I'd maybe put that down to 50% or even 10%. Now, I'm not going to go into what this keep profits means. There's a video inside the user guide that explains about that. So then when I've done that, I come up to the top and I put it on infinity. Now, I don't, I never put auto compound on because if this bot does really well, then it makes me a profit. I can use those profits to set up a completely different bot. I'm not putting all my eggs in one basket. And then what I like to do in here with the name I like to say lot zero, which is the very first lot. I put in the amount that I'm trading with. And then I do uh, lot one, and I put in the amount that I'm trading with. Now, if I'm trading with a, a bigger amount, so I was trading with $200, I might want to reduce this amount here. So let's just put in here 200 up here. So I'm trading with 200 on the first trade. Well, so I don't want to risk another 200. I could lower this, say, to... 12% um, maybe, and it's going to take $24, or I could put 10% in there, and it will take $20 to do the trade, okay? And what I like to do in the name is put what lot one was. So this one would have been the 200, you know, if I was keeping the setting at that. So that would be 200 for the lot zero, $20 for lot one. And then what I do is I come down the bottom here, and I make a note of this as well. So I just put this drop, drop, minus 25%. So I know that this bot, looking at the title, at a glance, I can see what this bot's doing. And then all I would do is click save. Well, I'm not going to save that because I've already set this bot up on uh, Binance and I'm testing it before I do a bigger amount. So I'll just cancel that. Now what we do is we come back over to the trends and this time I'm going to look at the pancake swap bots, okay? So GGG, the one at the top. So all I'm going to do is click on this icon here. That will open up the chart inside Dex Screener. Now, this chart is not 100% accurate because obviously we're not trading on Dex Screener. We're trading on PancakeSwap. Now, what I like to look is the first thing I like to look at is what's happened over the last 24 hours. So I can see that this has changed price of about 4.5% in the last 24 hours. Now, what I can do is if I want to you know, this price is starting to go up now. I could set an alert to say that when the price goes down. Now, it's at, look, it's at 0, 0,126. So I could come down here and say, well, it's a down that sort of price, and that's 1063. I could set an alert up. I click up on this alert, and I'd say when the price goes under 10, okay, and then create the alert. So that would give me an alert when the price goes down below that 10. Uh, so that means, you know, because it's at 0, 0.12, and I've put an alert to say when it goes down below 10, so 0 0.10, obviously, um, it would give me an alert. What I also like to do is have a look at the price movement of the chart. So I go on the full mode here, and I get this, this chart in a bit more depth here, and then we'll just bring this in a bit more. Right, so we can see that there's a nice swing down and there's a swing up. So I want to have a look at what this swing down is and what this swing up is. So I'm going to come on this uh, tool at the side here, and I'm going to go on this one, and then that opens up this menu, and I want the price range again. So I'm going to see what the drop was. So the drop was, there was a change there of 22%. Can you see that? 22%. Now let's come back on this again, and we're going to go to the price range, and we're going to take it from this low point here and we're going to go right up to there 
we could see that that was 39%. So there's been a drop of 22% and a 39%. Remember, whatever goes up must come down. In a bull run, it will go up and up and up. But we don't live in a bull run. We live in those markets where we have a bull run, a bear run, a bull run, a bear run. So I like to make sure that I'm taking care of those big movements. And again, what I would do is come over to Johnny Blockchain, click on the plus sign, opens up a robot ready for me to do. All the details are in here, GGG and Pancake Swap. I'm going to put it on expert mode again. And I'm going to come down the bottom here and do what it did last time. I'm going to delete these lots off. So I want to be left with two lots. And remember, if I've got two lots, I can always add another lot later. But if it's if I've got more than two, you know, I've got the full 39 and it spends all my funds, I can't take them off after it's spent it, can I? So I, I want to protect myself. So first thing I'm going to do is change this drop in price. So if I come back to the chart, I can see it's between 23 and 39. So I'm going to do my drop here at around about 23%. So I put in there 23%, minus 23. Again, I want to change this to independent. And I'm going to change this uh, to either anything 50% and below. So I'm either going to do 10% up to 50%. On the keep profits. I'm not going to do keep profits again. Video inside the user guide to explain what that is. And then up the top here, what I'm going to do is look at the settings here. Now I can trade with what I want. So I'm just going to leave it at a $20. And again, I like to say here lot zero. Lot zero was $20. And then lot one was also $20. And then what I want to do is do the minus. And whatever I put in this box down the bottom here was 23. So it's minus 23%. So I do drop minus 23%. And then what I want to do is make sure that I've got it on infinite trading again. Okay. And I'm not going to do auto compound because if this bot did okay and made me some good profits, I can use those profits to set up more trading robots. So I'm spreading my risk, if you like. I'm not keeping all my eggs in one basket. And so all I would do then is come up to the top here and click save. And then that robot would start to trade. But I'm not going to do that because I've already got some of these bots running. And so if I come down, you can see, if I come down the bottom here, just to show you. So this is my OM bot here. I set it up on the 13th. As you could see there, it says lot zero was 30, lot one was 18. And I've got it set for a drop in the price of minus 7%. And I've got two lots for that. It's already done two transactions and made 1.4%. I'm only trading here with $30. If this carries on doing okay, then I'll create another bot and uh, maybe up the ante. And to do that, all I need to do is to come into the cog here. That would open up this screen here. I'd put this on inactive first, and then in the top right hand corner, I'd click on duplicate. Now, what that's done, it's, if you can see there, it says copy, it's inactive. And if I just save that, just to show you, and go down the bottom, that copy is there. It's not started trading yet, because I don't want to set this up at the moment. But I go back in the settings, and now what I would do, put it on expert mode again. But this time, for the copy, because I've got a, part, a track record for the one that was trading on 30, I could up the ante in here. Maybe I might want to set this second bot up to 100. And it's got all the settings down the bottom exactly as the same as the other one. Then I would just make it active and then I would click on save. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cancel that. And then what I'm going to do is go down the bottom. I don't want this bot, so I'm just going to delete it. So I'll click on that cross in the right-hand corner, gets this message up, and that just archives it. But that's what I do when I'm setting up trading robots I'm doing a couple of lots, so I'm not risking too much of my capital. That way, if I've got $100 or $500 or $1,000 or $10,000, I can try as many bots as I like out with a lower amount, and then I'm not risking all my funds. So that's what I like to do with my trading bots. Now, if you come up to the top here and go to Getting Started, you'll see below this Getting Started video, there's a step-by-step -step user guide. Then scroll down and come down to this bit here where it says bot settings. And what you really want to watch is this video and that video. Really explains to you what the bot settings are, and it covers that kept profits in those two videos. So you're going to need about, I think, 10 to 15 minutes to watch both of those videos. So when you've got that time. But these videos here 
really will help you understand all the different types of bot settings. So if you're interested in joining Johnny Blockchain, click the link below and create a free account. If you've already got a Johnny Blockchain account, then play. You're not going to break anything. Have some fun and happy trading.